Welcome back. Today is going to be a fun and casual little sit down thrift haul. It's been a while since I have just done like a sit down thrift haul where we don't go out thrifting or go to different stores. I just share with you like a collective haul of some things I've picked up recently. So this is from several different thrift trips. I have stuff from Goodwill. We went to a peddler's mall the other day. I got a few things from there. And then I also have some stuff from Salvation Army. So it's just going to be like some things that I have collected over the past few weeks. And it is all very like spring themed spring colors so it's just like a fun spring thrift haul and I'm excited to share it with you I hope that you enjoy this um, I still have um, a really fun video coming up that's gonna be more of like how I found these items like what I look for for spring and how to thrift for spring I planned on doing that video first but since I have found so many good things this week I wanted to go ahead and share them all I was like I just need to do a collective haul of some of these good finds um, before I put them out and start decorating with them and stuff and then later on will come that more like informative in-depth video we'll go to like a ton of different stores and I'll share with you what I love to look for for spring but let's get started um I should probably go in order, but I'll just share these first. I got these from the Peddler's Mall. I love these baskets. They're going to be so perfect for the garden and also to decorate with around the house. I don't have any that are this beautiful light wicker color. All the baskets that I have are like a darker besides like one that I found recently. Um, but so I want to add in more of this tone of wicker, this shade this light color, I think it's so pretty. That was $1.99 and this bigger one was $2.99. And it just is a beautiful woven basket. I love these with the good handles on them. And then also from the Peddler's Mall, I found some amazing McCoy pottery pieces. Y'all know I talk about this all the time. I love this line of pottery from McCoy. Um, I just love the colors in it. You know, especially if you've watched my recent videos, how much I love pink and blue. So the pink and blue stripes in this just really speak to me. Um, I did our whole dining room around pink and blue. And so I'm just really feeling inspired by those colors lately, especially for spring. And I feel like these are going to be beautiful additions to the kitchen. I'm actually going to leave these out though, all year round, because I feel like, um, when you decorate with like, you know, vintage style pieces this definitely the blue and pink can go for all year round you can definitely incorporate that even during christmas and so i when i got these i was like okay i'm gonna for sure leave these out on the counter all year round um, because i have been looking for some vintage canisters to go on the counter i've had those clear glass ones for several years and i just really wanted to find like some nice vintage ones to bring in that feel more in the kitchen and right now it's holding all my little nespresso pods and i just love these i love the good lids on them i couldn't believe they both still had the lids it was 15 dollars for the set of two and this is what the other one looks like um and again it has more pods in it but i just loved these i did splurge on them because i was just like i feel like these are going to be a beautiful addition to our kitchen and at the coffee station and then not only did we find the canisters I also found this adorable creamer, which I have never seen before. I've seen like cups and mugs, but I've never seen the little creamer that goes to the McCoy set. So I was so excited to find that. This was $4.99 um, and I'm going to put my little like stir sticks. I still want to find like some vintage spring glass stir sticks for the coffee station. I think that would be so fun. But for now, I just have like some little spoons in here um, next to the little canisters. And it's just so bright and cheery in there. I love these colors so much. And then also to add to the kitchen, to go along with that set, this is just a huge McCoy haul, but I found the mugs, plates, and salt and pepper shakers. They're all so cute. So for the mugs, it was $5.99 for the set of two. And I just think they are adorable. And then these were, let's see, $3.99 for the set of two. How cute are those going to be in the kitchen? I just can't believe I found all of these pieces that match. And these were all in different booths in this Peddler's Mall too. The canisters were in one. Um, and then the cups were in one. And then I found the... Um, salt and pepper shakers and the plates in a completely separate one, which is just crazy. So this whole stack of plates was $10. It's five dinner plates and 
how perfect are these gonna be in the blue and pink dining room if we set the table with them they're just so pretty these actually don't have any markings on the bottom but the other pieces do but i'm pretty sure it's still the same set of mccoy because it matches it so perfectly um but we are gonna be using these to eat out of so we'll probably keep them mostly in the kitchen but also i think it would be really fun to set the table in there in the dining room with them um from time to time to tie in that blue and pink it just looks so pretty so that's all the mccoy pieces that i found the canisters the cups the creamer the plates and the salt and pepper shakers and i'm so excited to add those to our home if you watched um a recent goodwill bins haul that i shared i found the large mixing bowl that goes with that whole set as well and it was super cheap at the bins and then a few years ago i found the small bowl that goes with the set so like slowly over time i'm just adding to the collection of those pieces and um so i'm excited that i found all of those to go along with it and then i have just three more things from the peddler's mall in one booth i found this it is a spode england plate and it's beautiful love y'all know how much i love stuff like this so pretty i am redoing several spaces in the house y'all know i'm working on um incorporating like the country cottage look into our bedroom and i'm also working on my like dressing room and office space and bringing that feel more in there and i was kind of thinking of putting this in there with like setting a picture of flowers in the middle of it to add some of that blue into that room um but this plate was only 25 cents which i could not believe that price i mean especially at like an antique peddler's mall place i was like oh my gosh that's such a good deal and then from the same booth i found this amazing book so this is the book of house plants it was also 25 cents like oh my goodness i don't know if you can see the but i looked under this little dust jacket and it matches another book that i have that says the book of um vegetable gardening but this one is the book of house plants so they go together and i'm so excited i'll insert a clip and share with you what they look like but just how pretty is this 25 cents are you kidding me so pretty and this is exactly what i need right now i want to just read about all the house plants and it not only tells you like all the names of them and facts about them but also how to care for them and uh, like how to plant them what kind of soil to use what room to put them in depending on how much light and i just cannot believe that i found so many good books wait until i share all the books from goodwill i'm so excited i actually got one more thing from the peddler's mall i forgot that i also got this cookbook there this is the martha stewart cookbook it was $4.99 and I looked this up when I got home and was like reading reviews on it it had some of the best reviews of a cookbook I've ever read and people were saying this is like the only cookbook that they um go to for all the recipes and it's like been in their family for years and it's just one of the most like highly recommended cookbooks out there which I was just so excited that I found this and I have already looked through and found so many recipes that we will love and the pages of this are so nice they're literally in perfect condition and again so many good recipes I can't wait to sit down and like mark some of these to try they look so good and I loved of course the cover of it with the dust jacket off so my color and everything that I love so I can't wait to display that in the kitchen and find some really good recipes in that if you have ever made anything out of this or if you have this let me know in the comments what recipe you love out of here or if there's one that I should make out of this cookbook that you love definitely let me know and then I think that that is everything from the peddler's mall so everything else I have is from goodwill and salvation army and then I also ran into one small local little consignment shop and found this pastel art and it is so pretty so I'll go ahead and share this next so this is in this beautiful gold super detailed frame 
I'm in love with the frame. I'm trying not to show the glare of the window, but then the artwork is this beautiful vase of wildflowers and it's drawn with pastels. It is literally, oh my gosh, so beautiful. I do not have words. I love pieces like this so much and I feel like they just, this kind of artwork just truly makes the space those colors are just gonna pop up against like our cream walls and something as beautiful as a thrifted piece of artwork like this can just really give your space so much life and just make it feel so cozy and but yet also brighten it and just make it feel like you know bright and cheery and so that is what i love about finding pieces like this and as i'm starting to incorporate more artwork and stuff throughout our home every time I look at it it just brings a smile to my face and I'm just like I love collecting pieces like this um so I'm gonna use this in our bedroom and it's gonna be probably a long time I'm sure a few months before I um find everything to complete our bedroom I mean I would really love like a new bed frame and um nightstands everything like that so I'm gonna slowly collect those pieces over time I really want to look at like yard sales and stuff this summer for like um a really affordable like wooden headboard and things like that to bring in that cottage look um but this is going to be a piece that I know for sure I'm going to use in there somewhere whether I do like a gallery wall or hang it above the nightstands I'm not exactly sure yet um or one of the nightstands I thought about doing that and then finding like some other art for the other side I have so many ideas but the reason that I know for sure I want to use it in there is because this beautiful like pink coral color and these flowers matches those lamps that I thrifted for five dollars each a few weeks ago and I shared that in a video it matches the shade on those lamps perfectly and I brought it in there the other day and I was like that is where this piece has to go because it matches so well and it just really brings everything that I love into our room. So anyway, long explanation, but this was $14.99 and again, a little bit of a splurge for me. I really like to find really good deals on pieces and stuff like that. But for a piece like this, I mean, the frame alone is worth that much to me because it's so beautiful and I just feel like you can't find pieces like this anymore especially not even for that price um for this beautiful pastel art too is just like such a valuable piece so to me i thought that was a really really good price for it overall um so i will share exactly where i put that and stuff later on once we do our bedroom i'm also going to be sharing like a spring office refresh soon and i found um some art to go in there recently and also a beautiful like um brass colored floor lamp that kind of like ties in and matches the one that i have here in the living room but it's going to go in that room so i'm like slowly collecting um pieces for these spaces and then once i kind of get them um, a little bit more put together then i'll share like a room refresh video and how i'm using those pieces um but anyway the next art piece i have to share also sorry for all the rambles but like i said this is just going to be like a casual um chatty haul and just like sharing with you what i'm gonna do with these items and why i love them um but this next piece i found at salvation army and it was six dollars again i just love this beautiful watercolor art it's pieces like this that i feel like truly bring character to a room and if you have watched my um dining room decorating video then you will have seen this in that video and also um i think i shared it in another recent video as well like a clip of it but it's this gorgeous watercolor painting what really drew me to this painting was of course the colors in it the beautiful like light peachy pink with the sage green the blue and then the matte of this picture is like the most beautiful blue color which i love so much and i feel like it really brought the dining room together with those blues and pinks and then of course i love the little gold frame so that was a super fun salvation army find i literally saw this when we pulled up i could see it through the window um, of salvation army and i was like I want that painting i want that painting and i went in i went straight to it and i was like yes it just like the second that i saw it knew that i 
wanted to bring that home and incorporate that somewhere in our house. So I'm really excited about how that looks in the dining room. Um, but yeah, the second I saw it, I just knew I was like, that painting is so gorgeous. And I don't think I've ever found a watercolor painting before. Uh, and that, I just love that look. And then I found some really cool old books at Salvation Army and at Goodwill. And it has been so long since I have found some really like nice old books. Um, and it is something I love to decorate with so much. I feel like, again, they just add that like homey feeling to a room and then they just make it feel, I don't know, there's just something about a vintage book that I just love so much. This one here is probably my favorite out of all of them. It's called The American Women's Cookbook. Look how gorgeous this book is just incredible to me. And look at this. Oh. I haven't even looked at like the date in this yet, but this was, oh, it says it right here, 1940, but this was $5.99 at Salvation Army. They have started to, all their books used to be um, 99 cents and some of them were even like 75 cents, but now they're $1.99 and all the old ones they do mark up a little bit but 5.99 for this I feel like it's still such a good deal because you just don't find stuff like this anymore it's just so unique and filled with so much history and it was just worth that to me it really was so each of these little tabs has like cakes cookies pastries soups appetizers they each like tell you what category and they've also someone had some little homemade bookmarks in here where they've bookmarked some pages this one has cherry pie huckleberry or blueberry pie or pineapple pie on it i wonder which one they made and then in the back let's see the next page they had bookmarked is all about in-home canning water bath canning and pressure canning and like all of the um recipes in here that are for that so it tells you everything and then what page number it's at so like all the vegetables you can pressure can um all the vegetables and fruits that you can water bath can and it has all of that that is so amazing i'm so excited about this find and i will be reading all of those canning recipes and probably doing some of them this year for sure I have so much on my list to can this year, so I cannot wait to read that more and look at all the recipes. And then I found this Reader's Digest. I just love the colors. I found so, pretty much every book that I got was green, either green or blue. Those are just what I'm drawn to for spring. And I love these green books, so I grabbed that one. That one was 99 cents. This one was 99 cents. This is um, a hymnal from 1940. And I loved, again, just the history and the look of it. And there's just some beautiful, beautiful old hymns in here. Um, so I was very excited to find that. And then next, this is one that they had marked up a little bit. This was $3.99. But I loved the beautiful vintage cover of this. And it looks like it used to be in a library, in a school library. And I just thought it was so sweet. I had to grab that one. And then this one is Grandfather's Stories. And then all of these books here were 99 cents from Goodwill. Now, a tip if you go to Goodwill often. A lot of times they have carts setting around that they haven't put stuff out in yet. I'm sure every store is different, but they always let everybody look through the carts before they, if they haven't had time to put them out yet and they just brought out a cart of new stuff, they always let us look through them. And I always make sure I ask because I never want to go through the cart before they put the stuff out if, you know, we're not allowed to if they don't want us to, but she's always like, yeah, go ahead and look. So I had already looked through all of the homeware. I'd already looked through all of the books, like the whole wall, of bookshelves they have. I'd looked through all of that. I had looked through a few carts that were sitting around and then I was like, I really don't see anything. So I guess I'm just gonna head on out. And I was walking back like to the front of the store and there was a random cart sitting there. And I was like, um, is this stuff that you haven't put out yet? Is it okay if I go through it? And she was like, oh yeah, go ahead. And it was 
filled with cool old stuff. So if you're in there, don't forget to walk around and look at the rest of the store and see if there's maybe any carts they haven't had time to put out yet and see if they don't mind if you look through them. Um, or you just never know what, you know, they're going to stick in certain places or put in certain places. I have found books up on like shoe racks before that people have just put back, really scope out like the whole store because you just never know what's going to be there. Um, and these were, like I said, not anywhere near the book section. They were almost near the front of the store in a cart that they had just brought out. And I was seriously just so excited when I saw, I saw all of these beautiful covers just sitting down in that cart. And I was like, so many vintage books. So the first one is like this business book. I just really loved the color of it, 99 cents. This one is, an English book which is super super cool I love like old school books like this it's from 1948 and then this one is called modern health these just add so much character and so much good literature to your home library and i just love books like this like i feel like it's really important to have not only um books about plants and about gardening if that's what you love to do and about cooking but also books about like health and um english because it's just important i just feel like it's really important to have this one i absolutely love this is the joy of cooking and i have the joy of cooking cookbook but it's in a white cover and this one under the dust jacket again 99 cents for this oh my goodness but under this it is this gorgeous gorgeous blue which is absolutely my color i just love this how beautiful and the beautiful old pages soups stews oh my gosh salad dressings i love making homemade salad dressings um that's something i stopped buying like two years ago and we now always make our own salad dressing and it just is so much better than anything from a bottle or like a store-bought bottle so anyway love this so much and that is everything. That is my spring thrift haul. I hope that you enjoyed this um, fun little video. I just wanted it to be, like I said, more casual um, and share with you some of the pieces that I have collected over the past few weeks. And let me know in the comments below what is your favorite piece from this haul. I would love to hear. And I've also been loving reading all your comments of things that you all have found recently because um, I'm always sharing things that I'm finding, but I want to hear what y'all are finding. And if you have found a piece that you just absolutely love this special i want to hear about it down below please let me know um and also stay tuned for like i said that informative spring video coming up where we're gonna talk all things thrifted spring decor and how to shop affordably and what places to check out um what to keep your eye out for and everything like that i'm very excited for that video um still working on it which is why like i said it's not ready just yet but it will be ready soon. And then I'm also going to have a spring office refresh coming up soon. And we're also going to be starting to add spring touches throughout the rest of the house. So look forward to like spring decorate with me's coming up in the next few weeks as we start to incorporate spring pieces and add in things for the new season. But I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it maybe inspired you to get out and hunt for some treasures, um, find those good deals. But I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you in my very next video. Okay, I just have one last thing I want to share in this video. If you've been following along, you probably saw in a recent video that I thrifted these lamps for $4.99 each for our bedroom. And they're the first piece um, that has really inspired me to transform our bedroom and to refresh it, um, to bring in more of that cottage feel, like that vintage cottage, country cottage look that I love. Um, these really inspired that and kind of started like the color um, and the color scheme that I want to go for. Um, and then, like I said, over time, I eventually want to find like a wooden headboard, hopefully like this summer, and then, um, just slowly add pieces. I'm going to collect over time and share with you each piece as I find it. And then once 
I get kind of everything together then we'll decorate it all at once in like one decorating video and you can see kind of like the process of finding pieces and then eventually later on down the road how it all comes together. Um, I thought that would be fun to kind of bring you through the process since I'm kind of starting um, from scratch in this room since I don't really have anything um, that I love in here other than these lamps. And then this is the next piece that I just shared with you in this haul that I found that is going to go in here and I'm going to be pulling from like these colors and how perfect do the flowers in here match with the pink corally pink lampshades I just think it matches so good um so this is like the next base piece that we're going to be working off of I'm going to build like a gallery wall around this piece of art and so these are like my two starting points and then again I'll bring you along as I collect more pieces for it. Um, but I just want to say thank you again for being part of this channel and for being here. It really means so much to me and um, I just appreciate you all for watching. And then here's a look at how I added these books to our kitchen. And for spring, I really want to add greenery over here, like some plants, maybe even some fresh herbs. Um, but this is going to be our starting point. I'm also going to decorate the little peg rail up there. Um, but this is like, again, the colors I'm going to pull from and kind of like a starting point. So I wanted to share that really quick. I just love, again, like the warmth and all of the charm that these books add to a kitchen and to just our home. I love decorating with pieces like that. So I hope that you were able to draw some inspiration from this video. Stay tuned for my upcoming ones and I will see you all next time.